April is upon us, which means that flounder fishing is right around the corner. New York's flounder season is April 1st, so that's pretty awesome. We're right there. But I'm going to show you guys how to tie a quick, basic flounder rig. And uh, the way I tie my rig is, is pretty cool because this is basically what it's going to look like when it's finished. A lot of times when you flounder fishing, you're going to catch, you know, striped bass and stuff. And when that happens, uh, when that happens, you usually bend out this hook right here. So with my rig, if this hook bends out, it's pretty simple. You just take it, and you're going to take this little loop right here, and you can just pull it out, and you can pop that right out and put a new hook on it. So I'm going to show you guys how to tie this rig, and uh, let's get ready for flounder fishing. So with that being said, let's start. <clears throat> the hooks I like to use is the size 8 fin strikes with the corn on them, or you can get without the corn, plain, doesn't matter. You can add your own beads. The glow beads actually work really well for the flounder rigs. So let's get two hooks out and start this. These are size eights. So basically to start this rig, what you want to do is you're going to start tying a drop loop into the rig. So for that, it's pretty simple. You're going to take your line, you have your hook in one hand like this, and you can do a loop like this. And then what you do is you just start twisting. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you want to take that line that's there in the middle and you put it right through. And for this you're going to use your teeth. So I'll do it off camera for a second. Now as you can see I pulled the loop through. Now you want to snug it down, and there's your drop a loop. So now it's going to look like this. You drop a loop, and your end that's going to attach. Once that's done, you take your second hook. And these are all pre-snelled storeboard hooks. You put it right there. You want, see, I went over the loop. I don't know if you could see that. And then you take the hook and just slide right through the bottom. That's why these hooks are interchangeable if one straightens out. And there you go, there's your double hook rig. It's just that simple. Now, you could add your jewelry. What I like to use is, believe it or not, these are actually crappy uh, jig skirts, I guess. Simple little skirt. This is one of my favorite colors, a chartreuse combo. <clears throat> You get these at Bass Pro Shops, and you can see the package right there. These things are killer for the flounder. So what I like to do is on the upper hook, the one closest to the main line. There's your upper hook. So the one closest to the main line, I like to add the little crappy grub. Very simple, just take it, take your hook, put it right through the tip, like so. Run it through. And that's basically it. And I like to just run it over the shank like that. And that's basically how I'm doing that. The flounders can't resist this little color. Most people are going to use these little curly tails right here, the little yellow ones. These also come a lot with the store bought, but I prefer these. Now you got your rig set. On this hook, the upper hook, I like to put a, uh, a muscle. And on the bottom hook, right here, I like to go with the worm. Now you could also dress this up too. You could put one on here as well. You know, you could put on both hooks. It's not an issue. Either one will work fine. You could use this. You could use the, the crappies, the, the curly tail grubs, whatever. Now on this right here, you could see I put a glow bead on this one instead. <clears throat> and that's basically it. How you tie your flounder rig. Well, my, the way I tie my flounder rigs. There's a million ways to tie them, but some people, when they tie it, they'll do a loop in here and then they'll knot it up, and then that rig is done. You catch a fish and it bends out that hook, both these hooks are shot. You cannot change it. You have to cut it. With this, it's pretty simple as just looping it right back out, like so. Take the hook off, get the new hook, put it on, slip it through again, and just like that, you got a new hook. And you're good to go again to get back down there and stop bouncing them sinkers. 
Guys, hope you liked this video. Please subscribe, leave comments below. Any other videos that you would like for me to do for you guys, please let me know, and I'll take care of that for you.